Hello everyone! In this video we are going to see how you can link the e-commerce listings you already have on multiple channels. eBay, Etsy, WooCommerce, Amazon and Shopify and in the future possibly other channels. Give it a check. The link function is that nimble function that enables you to connect together listings which are already on some channels without the need to delist them and release them. So let's see how it works. First of all, bear in mind that the linking function is currently based on SKU codes. So to link your products, they have to share the same identical SKU code. Also, products with variations, size, color, material, they need to share the same exact list of SKU codes per variation. The number of SKU codes and the hierarchy of SKU codes must be identical. Of course, like everything else on Nemble, you can test for free during your free trial. So now let's move to the PC and we're gonna work hands-on together so you see how it works from your same interface. Follow me. All right, before we move on, take the chance to subscribe to Nemble Free Trial using the link below and copy paste the coupon code YouTube link in the coupon field inside Nemble and you'll get 25% off on any plan for three months. So come on, it's time to try connecting your listings across channels and editing them centrally and syncing inventory. Try it. Now, we are in the products tab. There's a bunch of products in different statuses. So imagine this for you would be empty if you are just beginning. So first thing, I need to import products from one channel and then a second channel. We go in channels, we see there's a bunch of channels connected already. We're gonna run the example today by linking listings imported from Shopify and imported from Etsy. You can apply this example to any two, three, four, and even more channels, right? What do we have? We have a Shopify account here with a bunch of collections. You see one of these collections is uh, it's called Summer Collection. It has six products into it. We open it, we scroll down. These are the six products. We go into our Etsy shop. We have a bunch of sections. We pick the mugs section and we have the same six products or at least something that resembles them very much. You can see that the names of the Shopify collection and the Etsy section are different, so that's totally irrelevant. The system will link products based on their SKU code, or better still, based on their set of SKU codes, meaning the SKU code per each variation. Go back in Nemble, we go into Shopify Nemble, we check the import from Shopify, and we select import status all and we import only from the summer 2023 collection. So we save changes and we get products. Now we go into products. All right, now we have six products. The first channel you import from will be your lead. It will be your leader channel. The content of the leading channel will lead on contents of other channels which means that if you have the same product with the same SKU but two different titles, Nemo will get the title of the first channel you import from. Same for pictures, descriptions and tags. Before importing once again, so before attempting to link, one important aspect is that you have to wait for the system to be done importing. How do you do that? You go into your dashboard you say here the last action you've done says completed. So right now we have six products, it's completed. We can go back in channels and check the settings of our Etsy import from. And here we are importing active products only and from the shop section mugs, as we saw, is the shop section we were interested in. And here I click get products. Now I expect to see six products let's go back in products and the six of them to be linked that's the good news we have five linked and the sixth one is not let's see what happened and why so i go into my dashboard again to discover what happened and you can see the latest action import action is also in status completed but only five products were brought in and actually they are linked 
and here there's a link error file which I can download, open and read what the error was. And it says error description, product has two variants in Etsy but one variant in Nimble. So this is useful for you to correct in case you add mismatches between products. In this case we have two variants in Etsy but one variant in Nimble. Let's go check the product that didn't link this one. I open it, edit. It has one SKU code. It was imported from Shopify so of course in Shopify it will have one SKU code. There it is. But in Etsy I expect something different. See there it is. Two SKU codes. This product will never link unless we fix it. All right, let's repeat the three main warnings here. A, the first channel you import from will be the leading content. Second, some channels do not have required SKU code. So some of your listings may be without SKU code. Those listings will not link. This will change as soon as we introduce manual linking, which is yet to come in our system. Third, if you have a different number of variations between listings, they will not link. The two listings must be identical in terms of SKU codes and number of SKU codes. Let's go back in products and let's see actually the product in the channel. So let's take this, well, you know, the shirt. So this is the listing on Shopify and this is the listing on Etsy. Let's try to make an edit and we change the title, right? So instead of shirt, we're going to write men's shirt and we're actually going to add the season 2023 fall and save and we also change the price it's gonna go 199.99 save and here we see 199.99 the, the name has changed into men's and has the, the year here I'm in Etsy I refresh the price has changed and the title has changed and how about Shopify I refresh and there it is right title has changed price has changed so this was an example of, of what you can do once products are linked and of course when we will receive an order on Shopify or on Etsy this order will diminish the inventory stock of both channels again if we had the same SKU code on a third and a fourth channel we just need to go into channels and import from instance get products from eBay and it will link a third listing on a third channel and so on. Now you know exactly how to link your listings together existing on different e-commerce channels and how to make your life easier. So just give it a try. If you need anything just write to us down here in the comments or chat with us in app. Thank you so much. Don't forget to like this video and turn on notifications so that you're notified when we publish something new. Bye bye.